After a bus driver was attacked by four men on his bus in the Bronx, the unions are now calling for greater safety measures to protect the drivers, including partitions. Nate Rogers has the full story. Nate, what do you got? Absolutely, Bill. If you remember, just last week we shared the story of an MTA train conductor who was spat on twice in the same day by angry commuters. And here again, vicious assaults continue on public transit workers. Now, this surveillance video right here is sad to see, Bill. Four teenagers violently attacking a Liberty Lines bus driver in the Bronx over the weekend. The driver was kicked and punched several times. The driver says the teens spat on him and threw bottles at him. Ironically, Bill, the driver also says these same teens have written his bus several times before and they refuse to pay the bus fare. This time, the 37-year-old driver says they also threatened to kill him. Take a listen. F you, Sharab driver bus. Uh, you white driver. Same things. Now, Sule has worked for Liberty Lines for eight years and says he's never been attacked while on the job previously. Meanwhile, union reps say they've been fighting for partitions to be placed around the driver, but the county has failed to supply them, saying they don't have the money. He took a lot of beating and then at the end he had to, he had to react and defend himself. Um, unfortunately, if the partition would be there and they first start throwing stuff to him, it would be avoided. Now, Bill, even though these teens are known to frequent the area where the attack occurred, police have yet to identify and arrest them. Union leaders also say even though their surveillance video and the pictures, oftentimes these attackers go unfound. Bill? Nate, have they, do they understand or do they know what these partitions would cost? Sure. Well, they said they need about, they have about 300 buses throughout Westchester County, a part of Liberty Lines, and they believe each partition would be anywhere from $2,000 to $3,000 per partition. All right, thanks, Nate. Stick around for a minute. I'm going to bring in the A-plus panel for tonight's show. We're joined by immigration attorney Afia Yunus and Republican strategist Allison Young. Um, Allison, I'm going to start with you on this. Uh, it seems to me that you've got cameras, but all we see now with cameras is not an increase in the safety of our MTA right. workers and bus drivers. You just see more video to help the cops <laughs> find the bad guys. Right. Uh, you know, the partitions seem incredibly expensive. Why not allow a legal uh, right to carry for a bus driver to protect <laughs> himself? Why not? Uh, you know what? It's a great question. You know, why not allow anyone who needs to protect themselves for an unpredictable act of violence the ability to do so? I'm with you on this one, Bill. Afia, what do you think? I mean, beyond the, you know, arm the bus drivers, that could certainly be done in a, in a background check way, mental health check, all these things. I I'm trying to highlight the point that we're leaving our transportation workers exposed to violence. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think we're, we're going to disagree that guns are going to make the, the streets safer. Um, I, I, I question how many of these incidents actually occur because uh, from the video in eight years um, there's only been one incident and so I think there does need to be more inquiry as to how often these incidents occur. To Afia's point really quick I'm um, in response to that this bus driver although he's been um, a part of Liberty Lines for eight years he's only been attacked once but I've spoke to several bus drivers subway conductors that say these assaults happen every single day they're spat on um, different things are thrown at them. They're cursed out. It happens all of the time. Back to my point, too, that you've got pilots that now have the right, if they pass the legal requirements, mental health, etc., to carry a firearm. I don't know why we're not empowering our transportation workers, at least with some way of defending sure. themselves. All right, sure. we'll see. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Nate.